Welcome to the last video on our iPad only book. And this video is kind of a bonus video and it's a wish list video. It's a wish list of what we wish the iPad do, software wise, hardware wise, and maybe what iOS 7, who will be announced next week, based on the time we're recording this video, will bring. This video may bring a lot of accurate things or will bring a lot of things that will never happen. So with this, we are the co-authors of the iBook only book. I am Augusto Pinot. I'm Michael Sowetsky. So Michael, so what is your wish list for the iPad and iOS 7? So, so you know, for my wish list is very simple. I, I wanna, with the iPad only, I have, I mean, to be iPad only totally, there's one thing really missing, which I just hate about the whole thing, and seriously, I hate it. And um, it's got to do with with photos. I just hate the fact that uh, I still need to manage my photos in iPhoto on my Mac. That you know, it, it, it's a pain. I mean, seriously, Apple. I mean, just get. I mean, photo stream is not a solution. Let me repeat that. Photo stream is not a solution. It's nice to have. I don't care. I want to make, make sure that I can arrange photos on my iPad in albums, and these albums sync with all of my devices, and they're there, and that's it. I, well, how hard can it be? Seriously. And what happens? I agree now, with you. What happens now is that I have to go to my Mac, get my get through PhotoStream, get all of my photos, and then on my Mac I need to be ordering photos to albums. And, and, and then what? I, don't, I, I cannot sync this album back. I will have to, you know, copy or whatever. It, this is stupid. The photo management is the missing link for me. Yeah, I agree with you. I want to see iCloud photo management, and I'm fine to pay for the extra monthly year fee to have a lot of space so I can have all my pictures there. That's without a doubt something that I wish to see on iOS 7. I don't know... PhotoStream is not the solution for that, but PhotoStream can do incredible things. We have grandparents in a list for PhotoStream, and it's great because I take the picture, send it to the PhotoStream, and I know they get them, and I don't need to send them separate pictures or anything. So I love PhotoStream for that, but it's just not a final solution for yeah, managing but, that. But it's, but, it's, but it's a stream, and what happens when you want to you know, rearrange the photos? I want to arrange them in albums or something, you know, events, whatever. You can do that in iPhoto app, but then it doesn't sync anywhere else. It's, it's just crazy. That's correct. It's complex to sync. So uh, that's that's one. I without a doubt. I for me, I want to have the ability to create iBook author books and upload them directly from the iPad, because with the spirit of this book, just this book is an iBook author book. But after we did all, I was forced to go to the Mac, to edit there in the Mac, to create all in the Mac, so I can use the software to upload it. And there is no reason why I could not do that, all that on my iPad. Same thing with the other formats, you know, like EPUB and, and the format for Amazon. There is no reason technically why this cannot be done in the iPad, but it's impossible right now. and. It is on my big wish list because it's exactly what you said. That's one of the few things I need a Mac for these days. And if they fix that, Mac is gone for me. Exactly. And then, and the thing is that um, it's not a bad thing that a Mac is gone for you because it means that more people can be iPad only so that they, they will sell more iPads. And this is where they make the big bucks anyway. So uh, the, 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 same thing, the same thing goes, for example, with the, the thing we mentioned in the earlier video, copy and paste. This is a big wishful thinking because they haven't solved the copy and paste in 20 years on the PC. So, but I'm still hoping they will do a native copy and paste with history on the on the iPad on the iOS at some point. Yeah, as a, I also have on my list as a parent, I I wish to have profiles. The profiles don't even need to be powerful. I just want to have a profile where I can click, give it to my daughter, and then now that she cannot do anything without me needing to cripple my own usage, so 
on the iPad while she's not using it. It will be so easy to fix if I can get a profile, even if I can get a profile that I can limit the time so she can use the iPad freely. And when she reach whatever time I pick, you know, the iPad will log and say, sorry, you just use your 45 minutes of iPad a day without me needing to be monitoring and paying all that much attention to that. That's something that I would love to have in iOS 7. Yeah, but I mean, you're you're talking about, you know, additional features, time limiting, whatever. Just give us the profile. I mean, iPhone is a personal device. I totally get it. But iPad is not really. I mean, it can be, and I understand that you want the whole family members to have iPads, but, you know, it's a kind of tricky thing. And if you can have um, a child using the iPad uh, with additional additional profile, then when they get to use get, get used to the iPad, maybe the parents will give give the code will buy them the iPad anyway, you know. But the thing is that, as you said, we have to limit our usage to make sure that the children don't spoil our thing, you know, that we have installed on the on the on the devices. So uh, totally right. The profiles are really needed there. Yeah, from from the iPad point of view, really, I just wish. A retina display for this little thing? Oh, that would be magical. That's really, again, one of those wish things that I would love to to have because I think it will bring, it will make this iPad mini even more powerful than what it is already. Yeah, totally, totally. iPad mini with retina display would be would be perfect. Would be perfect. Yeah, I would want the, the, the hardware-wise, I would want the iPad, the big iPad, to be even lighter. And then, then uh, the the battery life ten ten hours. I want to keep it. I don't want to have it. You know more. I don't care. Ten hours is fine. I would like to have it just a little bit lighter, if if, if it's possible. And 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 especially the charge time. It, it would be so cool if they finally improved the charge time. I know it's you know it's a difficult thing. I but I know that there there are, there are people working on this technology to really charge them quicker. You know because it takes so much time to charge. Yeah. It is it is part of the wish list that that I have. It's I don't know if I'm going to get one or zero of those wish, but there is no much many things I wish for my iPad only experience out of this hardware or software more than these two or three things. So yeah, I hope. Let's see how many I get next week. Yeah, exactly. Because thing here, I mean the. The developers are already doing a great job. So the apps are getting better and better and better. And just to, you know, to finish it up, I would like to you know, give the comparison because what we said that we chose the title of the book to be iPad only, not tablet only, because what we believe is that on the Android platform or our Surface platform, the, 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 you know, the, the, the software is not there. But, but the software is there on the iPad. And people who said that iPad is just a bigger iPod touch, it's not true because it's like the, the, the comparison is like a jacuzzi and a swimming pool. And if you would say the swimming pool is just a bigger jacuzzi, well, mm, yeah, but you can do so much more, so many more things in a big swimming pool than you cannot do on, in, you know, in jacuzzi, right? Yeah, it is. The people who continue thinking that the iPad is just a big iPod Touch or a big iPhone without that phone, they just really have not yet got over their own limitations on the PC side. And they are trying, the reason they don't see it, as we said at one of these videos at the beginning, is because they are trying to apply their own beliefs on, their own belief on what the PC should work and how it should work to their iPad. And that will never work. It's a different experience. It's a powerful one if you are willing to work with it and you are willing to to change your workflows and you will discover that even the workflows that are set that has been solid for months even those can be improved in a minute notice as you and I experienced more than once during this book so again get the details in the iPad only book uh, it's available on you know everywhere on Amazon everywhere else, uh, and also the iBooks author, uh, so the iBooks, iBooks store, the interactive one, and uh, let, let us know what you think, G give us, you know, give us a ping on our website and on our, you know, uh, uh, Twitter, 
and just, you know, stay in touch. And I'm hoping that, you know, we are hoping that you get, you know, at least half of what we what we what we what we're trying to 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 get here and then you're you're trying to uh, that, you, that you manage to you know implement at least half of, of our of our tips and tricks and we are hoping even more that you can give us more tips and tricks and you can give us great apps that will help you know simplify our setup even more make us even more productive this is what we're aiming at we're just getting started we want to have this community started so thank you very much and you know enjoy this thank you I am on this same wish list. If you have tips and tricks, send them away. I will continue sharing whatever I discover. And again, thank you very much for getting the book. If you're getting the book, and if you're not getting the book, as Michael said, the book is going to be available everywhere. It's going to be available on Cabo, Amazon, Apple iBooks store, of course. There is an interactive version, and the videos are going to be available for you. And even in paperback, you will be able to get the videos and just go online and uh, get the book and go online and see the video. So, again, thank you very much. This has been a really fun experience. I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you. This is Michael Slewinski, the co author of the iPad only book. And this is Augusto Pinal. Thank you.